This is the first of two videos on hand milking the dairy cow. You will learn about good tea preparation, how to check the milk so it is safe to drink and free from mastitis. This will help to make sure that your milk always passes the tests at the collection center. Hello, I'm Peter Edmondson. I'm a dairy vet and I've been working with small scale dairy farmers in Africa for many years. Before we start talking about teat preparation, let's deal with a few practicalities. Keep the cows in a clean environment so when they come in for milking, the udder and teats are clean. When you get dirty teats, it increases the risk of mastitis. We want to milk the cow under a roof and standing on clean concrete. Place a bar or rope behind the cow so she remains in the correct position for milking. It's always a good idea to feed the cow some hard feed when milking to keep her quiet. Let's now talk about teat preparation. We want to have clean and dry teats before we start milking. The milker should wash his hands thoroughly, then dry them. We want to clean the teats and udder thoroughly using a cloth which has been in warm water. If you have running water, then you can use a hose pipe. It's very important that teats are thoroughly dried after washing using a separate dry cloth or you can use clean paper towel. Drying the teats removes any faecal contamination. If you are milking two or more cows, then it is important to make sure that the cloth is thoroughly cleaned between cows. Apply a little grease to each of the teats to make milking more comfortable. Before every milking, strip out some milk from each of the quarters to check that it is good. If the milk is abnormal, such as clots or if it is watery, then continue to strip the suspect quarter for at least 10 squirts. If the milk is good after 10 squirts, then there are no problems. If the milk is still abnormal after 10 squirts, then this cow has mastitis. Here we can see lots of clots to the left of the red arrow. Mastitis milk should be discarded. Don't drink mastitis milk, as as a high risk you will get ill. Don't bring mastitis milk to the collection centre, as all the milk will fail the tests and be rejected. Contact your livestock technician or vet to get advice on the best form of treatment. So, to sum up, always make sure that you milk with clean hands. Make sure that the udder and teats are clean and dry before milking. Check the milk from all four quarters is good. If you do have mastitis, then the mastitis milk should be discarded. Don't drink mastitis milk, as there's a high risk you will get sick. And don't sell mastitis milk to the collection center, as this will fail the tests and all your milk will be rejected. Thanks for watching. Why not watch part two, the final video on hand milking? Don't forget, there are lots of other useful videos on my otherwise YouTube channel. Please subscribe so you don't miss them. Click the like button if you liked it and feel free to leave a comment.